Hello everybody and welcome to the 10th video in Indie Resources how to build a browser based MMO version 2.0 um, I want to apologize to everyone who's been waiting on this video so, um, I've been traveling a lot and then when I did finally get back into it I had to remember where I left off so hopefully there's a good transition between 9 and 10 especially for those of you who didn't have to wait and you can kind of see the transition but I'm pretty sure I got everything if not just let me know but this, this video is going to be pretty simple anyway um, it's basically just login. I wanted to get that done and out of the way, and that way uh, we can move on to the actual game stuff. We're not going to go a whole lot into security in the beginning just because I want to get the game rolling, and then we'll kind of work on it later. One thing to note is I've got a lot of um, feedback on, you know, instead of making just kind of a, a tutorial basic game, actually make a real game, a usable game that's going to be, you know, like my game, what how I would make it, and then show the upload process and everything. And it's a really great idea. I'm, I can definitely do that. Um, maybe in because I know we're having issues right now with the the whole bootstrap screen um, and some people's monitors and everything so I have an idea how to fix that and I think it'd be best if I went ahead and built this into my own game maybe maybe one of my games that I normally that I have out there that I haven't updated in a long time maybe move all that convert that all over to here that way you guys can see it from start to scratch a true game so it's great ideas we'll definitely do that um, here 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 lately here in a little bit after we get some things rolling so let's, let's get into this video so for login uh, really that's all I did but I did finish the login we already have our register page we are missing a, a cancel button here I just yeah I forgot to put that in there but that's fine um, we can just hit refresh and it'll go back to our page but um, so we we can log in and does that brings us in we can still move around um, this currently this player is not currently my player I do have stats I do have it passing the stats but that's on the next video I just want to get the login stuff out of the way and then we have a logout button that actually logs us out and brings us back so this is more code than it actually is time that it took to show it but let me just show you the code real quick so in index there's a couple things that changed one uh, on our login module I made it to where it will um, it show false so it starts off as false it starts off not even showing it then what it does is is it the first thing it really does is it checks session so there's an I've created a new function everything's in user login to make it easy um, there's a check se session it basically just calls the server and runs this PHP uh, script check session if we look at that script it's real simple there's a session start in PHP there's sessions sessions is basically on the server it's just saving a variable and we use that variable to tell if the user is actually logged in or not and that way they don't have to log in every single time and those of you that watch the old videos you pretty much know what sessions are um, I wouldn't I'd say if you want to learn more about sessions to go to the PHP manual or something and learn it we're not going to get into a whole lot with it but we will get a little further later on but just know now that this starts the whole beginning function for the sessions we'll call it and this checks to see if that variable is set so on the server is the um, for this person for this session is the player session set if it is, then we want to echo one, if not echo zero. And if you go come back to the user login, if it equals, if it doesn't equal zero, that means one or anything else, we want to build the page. So in other words, if it equals one, there, there is a session user for that person, then let's build the page. If not, let's go to login page because that means I haven't logged in. So if we go to our login page function, it's pretty much the same other than I did put this in here. So if if they're not logged in then we toggle the login not initially at the start so that's the only real change is we we're now going to toggle it uh, whenever we need it um, then we're going to go to login which is basically up here nothing much changed here other than you know it's going to do the validation which i'll show in a minute but well, we'll go ahead and show it now we'll go in order of it this just comes through grabs the username and password that we pass from it um, that we set in our in our variables in our uh, form and if it finds something, if the rows, if, if there's anything in there with this, it's only going to return one row no matter what, but regardless if it finds, see if rows ends up being something, then we want to create a new session called player for this player, and that's going to store it on the server, and then we're going to equal it to their ID. So if we go to here, you'll notice that for me, my ID is 11. It's, a, it's going to store 11 into that player. That way, every time we call back to the server, we know already the player name is 11. That way it keeps from cheating and things like that to where we can automatically query it. We don't have to pass anything back and forth. It's just, it's already on the server. We don't have to worry about players passing other people's IDs or anything. Um, then we're going to echo rows. If not, we're just going to echo zero, which is basically false. And if we go back to our user login, if, if it equals 
anything other than zero. So whatever the, the, the ID is, um, we really don't need this console.log right here. Actually, yeah, let's keep it there. Just I'm going to show you what happens, show you what it actually passes. Um, let me go back to this validation. Yeah, because we're echoing the row, so we're actually echoing these out. So let me show you what that, that brings out, but we'll keep that there. So if it is there, then we fade it away. We put log in. We toggle the login module off again, or just off, and then we build the page, which is we've already went through. However, if it's not, it says your login details are incorrect, and you just have to try again. Pretty simple stuff there. Um, nothing's really changed other than that. I will show you. Let's go back here. Let's hit our F12. We'll log in, and you notice it creates an object, which is basically what I'm passing. And it's only one, and it's the class is one, which we don't have to pass the class. I, the, we, actually, we do because of the picture. We want to show the correct picture right here, so we're, we're passing the class. We're passing our ID. Don't know that we need it. I just put it in here to show you, and then the name, and then we'll just put welcome halls or whatever up here. Um, so, And we can pass anything, uh, anything that's in that table or any other table we want, but for now, that's all we really need. So pretty simplistic. The only other thing we have left is our logout button when you click it. If you go to, let's go back to our index just so I can show you where that was at. I put it up here. Where are you at? It's actually, oh, here. No, there it is. Um, it's basically just a button that calls the function logout and that's about it. And if we go to our user login, I put everything in here, like I said. I put it right underneath login. It's logout. All it does is it calls the script logout. Um, once it sees that there's data that's being returned, the reason why I'm to, I wouldn't have to return data, but the reason why you need to is some this won't run unless you return data. I find that a lot. Sometimes it'll I see it'll run, sometimes it don't, but it'll always run if you make sure to pass a little bit of data. So it doesn't really matter what you pass, unless you want to create something different there. But for now, I'm just passing data and I'm just doing a, a reload to the page. That way, it starts over again. But if we go to our logout.php, all it does is it, you know, the session starts, you have to make sure to call that to, so this, all this is understood. And then we're going to unset that session, and then we're just passing true. It doesn't really matter one. So what happens is when this unsets it, we hit refresh, it does this check session again, and now it's going to come back as false because there's no none, nothing in there, and then it knows to start the login over again. So hopefully I didn't confuse anybody. Um, pretty simple code. It's, you know, I say simple code, it's it's a lot of complication there, but it, it's only a couple of lines, really. I didn't do a whole lot, but it was just figuring out the easiest way to do it. Um, I know this video probably isn't as wonderful as you want it to be and add all kinds of cool stuff, but at least we have the login and the registration pretty much done to where we can get the game started, and then we can come back and kind of add a lot more cooler things like promo codes and things like that. But for now, it's done, it's out of the way. Now we can get started on getting our character to where it's the real character, we can start fighting, other things like that, and actually our stats affect that type of stuff.